Hey everybody, how's it going? Wicked Diggy here. Um, sorry I didn't post a video yesterday on Thursday as I normally try to do. Um, every once in a while I get busy and it escapes me and I try to always get it on Friday, which I am doing today. So I've um, been busy and I didn't even go out swinging this week. So hopefully I do uh, get to go out this week or in the next couple days or so. But uh, anyhow, this video is from, uh, I don't know, I think uh, three or four weeks ago and uh, maybe three weeks ago. And it was a... A okay hunt but I did find a complete bucket lister that I didn't even really know existed and I'm just very happy to have it I had no idea what it was when I dug the hole but uh, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, we'll catch you all soon Hey everybody, Wicked Digger here. How's it going? I'm here today at the house that I did the ring rescue on or ring recovery on. Uh, it's a 1900 house um, the owner says she thinks it might went back to the 1700s at some point um, the land is definitely old here. The main road that we're next to was the main uh, carriage road back in the 1800s. Uh, so you never know what we're going to find here. So I'll let you know. We'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. So this is my first uh, good target. There's lots of trash and iron everywhere. I believe that was some kind of religious pendant. Oh, I just dropped it back of it's really crusty especially now that I got more dirt on it but uh, yeah we'll clean it up a little better and see what it looks like I think it's aluminum so far there hasn't been a whole lot Steve's in the front yard I'm in the backyard just found this little hinge but it's pretty cool how it's gone right to the root we'll take that off and get it out of here well by the looks of this spot I think I definitely found a bottle dump area there was all kinds of glass in here and then I kept digging down because I was getting a good signal, but <clears throat> excuse me, so far all I found was glass. Yeah, and there's, there's bits of glass everywhere in here. I kept sticking my pin pointer in there, and out came this big makeup compact. I haven't tried to open it yet or anything, but that is pretty sweet. I love it. It's still in that same hole as the makeup compact. I don't know. See if I can move. I don't know how well you can see this, but there's a bottle down there. I'm gonna try to get it out. There's a, there's a bottleneck. Hopefully we can get this out without it breaking. Oh! Wow, look at that. Not super old, but that is a neat looking bottle. It's got a little bit of something in it too. It's just a screw top. But that is pretty cool, huh? There's like little suns on it. Hmm. La Choy, it says on it. Aha! Alright, cool little bottle. Well, it was nothing terribly old, but those are a couple of uh, mason jars that I pulled out. Bottle. The other bottles in my bag and a little uh, top to um, some kind of clay pot or something. Pretty cool. Right here is where I went to another location and I got a really cool bucket list of coin. Look who decided to join me. A little hen over here. A little hen peacock. Well, I got a signal deep in the hole here. I don't know if it's a button or a coin. I'm not sure yet. It looks to be about nickel size what is that it says something on it might be a token I don't know what that is I don't know if you can tell I don't know which way it flips we'll have to clean this thing up a little better and see what's going on but this is exciting hopefully uh, it's a civil war token I'm not really sure Unless it's a foreign coin. Huh. Oh, let me clean it up. I'll get it right back to you. Interesting. Well, it's definitely a coin, I believe. And all I could see right now is like a crown in the middle and a seven. So, Roman numeral seven. Looks like it maybe says Hispania. So, I don't know what this is. I'll have to clean it up a little better and uh, hopefully get a better ID or date or something off of it. But... That's really cool. I'm excited with that. We'll take it.
It's getting a nice mid-tone here in the 50s. Popped the plug as soon as I did. Saw this hanging out. Some little chain of some sort. Let me put it on here. Huh. It's hoping for jewelry. Jewelry. A little uh, can't speak right now, I guess. But I don't know what that was. Maybe it would have been a chain on a lantern or something. I'm really sure. Pretty cool though. We'll take it. Well, we just got another wheat scent from 1948. So it's pretty slow, pretty quiet. It's going to get a little warm out, so we're probably going to be ending pretty soon. Let you know if we get anything else on the way back to the car. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed uh, the little hunt from today. I am out here grilling some burgers right now at my house, but I wanted to remind everybody that if you can donate anything uh, to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital uh, fundraiser that I am doing along with many other great YouTubers, um, please click on the link in my description, donate a dollar, five dollars, whatever you can do, everything's appreciated. Uh, I think we've raised a little over $4,100 as a team right now. I think I'm up to 130, and I can't thank you all enough for your for your donations and for all your support. So thank you very much, and we'll catch you on the next one.